He went to an exhibition to see a new film viewing device, the kinetoscope. It could show a motion picture only to one person at a time. But apparently he was not that impressed with what he saw. So he thought, why not create something different? When he got back home, he shared his idea with his sons. He asked them to design a device that would allow lots of people to watch a movie at the same time. They began to experiment and, a bit later, created something that completely revolutionized the world of art and entertainment. Welcome to Personality Matters. I am Arthur Kems and today we will be talking about the Lumiere brothers. After the Franco-Prussian War, Antoine moved his family to the city of Lyon. Being a painter and a photographer, he decided to open a business that specialized in producing photographic plates. Antoine had two sons, August and Louis. While growing up, they were taking a lively interest in their father's business, particularly Louis. So, at one point, Louis began to experiment with the equipment his father's business produced. Well, the experiment led him to make one photographic innovation. To be more specific, long ago there were so-called wet photographic plates that needed to be developed instantly in the darkroom. Back then, the dry photo plate process existed, but was not quite developed yet. So Louis significantly improved it, which dramatically reduced the need for the darkroom. It also made the life of the photographer much easier, because the photographer could travel further from the darkroom and take more pictures. Anyway, this photographic improvement spurred the growth of Lumiere's family business. Some even say that the business was running on fumes and was about to fall into bankruptcy. But this innovation not only saved it, but turned it into the leading producer of photographic plates in Europe. So never underestimate the talent of your children, who knows how it may impact your business. 1894, Antoine, the father, was invited to attend an exhibition in Paris, where Thomas Edison and William Dixon demonstrated their new film viewing device, the kinetoscope. It is largely considered as the first film viewing projector. However, the kinetoscope was rather limited in many ways. It was heavy, bulky, and could show a motion picture only to one person at a time. Basically, a person had to watch through a peephole. Hmm. Anyway, this invention inspired Antoine with an idea to create a device that could project a film onto a screen for a large audience, not just one person. When he got back to line, he shared his idea with his sons and asked them to design a cheap alternative to the kinetoscope. So the brothers began to do experiments and by 1895 they created their own device that they simply named the cinematographer. This device was much smaller and lighter than the kinetoscope. It weighed 11 pounds and could be launched with the use of hand-powered crank. The cinematographer had a 35mm wide film that passed through a shutter at 16 frames per second. Basically, it functioned on principles similar to a sewing machine. Thus, the cinematographer set the modern standard for film parameters. Also, the cinematographer was lighter and portable, contrary to the bulky kinetoscope that allowed for films to be shot only in studio settings, whereas the Lumiere's invention gave operators more freedom to shoot films even outside studio walls. The Lumiere brothers demonstrated the cinematographer to the public on December 28, 1895, at the Grand Café on Boulevard de Capucine in Paris. And a month later, they presented their first movie, The Arrival of a Train at La Ciotat. It was a silent short film that lasted 50 seconds and showed a train station. The legend goes that the first spectators who came to see the movie would scream and rush to the back of the theater because it seemed to them that the train was about to run over them. The cinematographer turned out to be a crucial innovation in art and entertainment. Basically, the Lumiere brothers created a new form of pop culture that deeply influenced the world. Interestingly, the Lumiere brothers considered their own invention more like a temporary thing, a short-lasting novelty. Not so long after they presented their first film, Louis said that cinema was an invention without a future. Well, as we all know, this prediction was totally wrong. Within the first three decades of the 20th century, cinema swept the whole world. 
It gave rise to lots of new, creative professions and turned into an organized business. Many people went to look for opportunities in Hollywood. The popularity of movies was growing fast and gave birth to such prominent movie studios as Paramount, MGM and 20th Century Fox. Even the term superstar was born around that time, and in a nutshell, cinema became what we know it to be today. Steven Spielberg once said, Every time I go to a movie, it's magic, no matter what the movie is about. Definitely, magic that the Lumiere brothers brought to our life. Thank you for watching Personality Matters. We talk about people who made the world. Until next time, I am Arthur Kams.